Senior Headman of Tuahudaman Traditional Authority, Jonathan Yombu, saw the advertisement in the newspaper and convinced about 198 farmers in the area of Ochimbingwe to register with the maggot farming project. Farmers, the majority of whom are retired senior citizens, were requested during a meeting held by Van der Merwe and Nyombo in February last year to pay an amount of $1,600 to undergo maggot farming training, which they paid. Some of these farmers told NBC News that they sold their livestock, such as goats and donkeys, to collect the money. I want my money and the answers from my traditional authority office, because it's them who lead us in this whole, whole, whole mess. Apart from the $1,600, farmers were also requested to pay $150 for plots to set up their projects, but after they made the payments, Nyombo failed to allocate the land as promised. The Twahudaman Traditional Authority senior headman denies all the allegations. That $150 is not mean for the land. This is the administration fees. Despite the hundreds of thousands of dollars paid to him, Van der Merwe apparently only set up some incomplete, cheap structures at Ochambingwe. 58-year-old Hendrik Henry, another victim, paid more than $200,000 towards maggot and chicken farming as well as a green scheme project. Everything is half and I'm not happy because this money that I pay to him, or Netcor as a whole, is my savings for my retirement, which I decided I can... I can uh, do better with it if I go into this viable project, which they introduced to us. It is believed that not only farmers in the Ochumbingwe area were allegedly robbed in this manner by Van der Merwe, but farmers countrywide appear to have been scammed in the same way. NBC tried to reach Van der Merwe, but all his contact numbers were disconnected, and to date, no one knows of his whereabouts. A case of fraud has been opened against him.